see, this is one of the oldest pieces I have here, one of them. Um, haven't been working on it since I kind of completed it in 2010 or so, uh, maybe, maybe 11 or 12, but um, it's, uh, it's UV sensitive. And, uh, it, yep, 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 yeah, it kind of encompasses uh, life and death, you know, there's a uh, um, kind of a, a night day, kind of this duality aspect of uh, I guess bridging between that veil of here and there. Um, this right here is uh, is one of these plywood murals, which um, we would do collectively with a group of kids or anybody really who was around. I, I call it the right time, right web collective. R V R we, and um, basically this one is probably the quickest one. Is maybe it was a one day event, so it was only maybe ten hours max, maybe five to ten hours. Yeah. Put into it and uh, got, got a little dewy towards the night, so it dripped a little. But basically, uh, the goal is yeah, just to, to do a mural during during the event. And uh, this one was during a uh, culture fair. Uh, a bunch of kids helped on that one. This will be the beginning of something very special. Hopefully, by the time this video is is being shown, this will be. This would be something, that, you know, will already exist. Oh, that horse is, yeah, that horse is not, it's not. Uh, this is some epoxy on a pallet, it's an old pallet, so. This was something that this was something that I started uh, at a at a festival in New Hampshire. One of the many pieces that I did there at the um, uh, Hempfest Freedom Rally. But recently, I took some globs of this oil paint that never dries and uh, have been like pasting it on there with uh, through the, on the wet side, getting some bizarre effects. And, uh, and let's see, there there are many things gathered here. So what I find interesting is how I can bridge all these pieces together and use them to kind of develop each other in a unified variety sort of method. Uh, here's a list of a few things that at one point were I found that were inspiring to me. And those are some uh, epoxy resin blobs. Oh, there was some uh, there was some jewelry here. We should, we should look at. This uh, was a uh, fairly abstract painting uh, for about a year. I started it at a germination festival in Maine, and uh, it was just it was just abstract roll canvas that kind of you know sat around, had to dismantle it because I was traveling in a small car. Um, and then the next year, oddly enough, I brought it to the same festival. <clears throat> at which point, I realized on the, the last day of the festival that uh, I got a call from a band, Gridline, from New York City. And uh, they were like, hey, our album's done. And usually bands are mastering an album for up to a year after it's done being recorded. So I was like, oh, what are you? And they're like, we mastered it while we recorded it. They never told me this. So for the first time in my life, you know, I have a band that's like five people waiting for me to, fi to finish. And they were done with the album. And I was like, oh my God, like the, I haven't really done the, the inside album cover. Because this is going to go inside. The, when you open it, it's inside. Um, and, like this is both sides of the inside. And... They had like a list of stuff they needed, which was like, uh, you know, part of the songs and part of the story. And I didn't have a computer with me most of the time. Most of the time, <laughs> most of the time I, uh, I used, you know, color pencils, scanning, Photoshop, computer stuff to kind of manipulate these, uh, these digital things for, for albums. But uh, this is the first album cover I did like by hand. And I think like, because I was also kind of stuck in Maine for those few days. Um, it was really interesting to try to problem solve and... Uh, just kind of 10 hours straight, it was just like, okay, I'm going to get it done just by hand. And uh, kind of sets a new, uh, a new field for, for creating these album art things using just, just paintings, which I'm sure that I will do again. I'm going to
Um, so this is a collab with Sarah uh, Patucci and uh, Odin, um, and uh, which is Eric Warner, or like Eric Morgan. Oh, Eric Morgan. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, Eric Morgan. Um, and uh, you know, I think it was interesting because I just met him through another friend, older guy, and it was interesting. He was able to, you know, he used oil paint too. It was great to collab because I've just started painting with Sarah, who has a couple of pieces here. And she's been painting them since you know for the past few years that I've known her. Uh, so oil paint collabs are definitely different than the acrylic ones, which, um, uh, which you know, dry quicker. They're they're more, uh, I guess, uh, urgent based. So maybe if you're at an event, you gotta pack it up or can't be wet. It's not at a studio. This is more studio based. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, this was uh, this was um, I was I ended up manipulating it a little more, but. This was the cover for Michelle Renee's album Reflections. Okay, good. Yeah, which uh, which I'm sure we could link all these all these projects. You know, I think that's part of the, the purpose of them. Because uh, I mean, I I have a lot of stories to tell, I guess, but I find it much more interesting to try to, I guess, uh, I guess write songs about other people's meals. You know, or express things in different ways. Uh, I feel part of the band in a way when hired to do such projects. Uh, it's very humbling. Um, and in a way, like, I sense that the band, you know, gives it their all and it's their life. And, you know, they're pouring their soul out into these projects. Um, and that's, how, that's what I do through my art, but it's good to be able to kind of hop on their train and, uh, you know, and kind of make, I guess, resonate with their love whether or not I can define why they love what they love, I just know they do. And that's kind of where, you know, I guess all art comes from. You just sense, you say, well, this person's crazy, they love something. And, uh, and that's all that really matters, I think, is that then we meet to talk about it. And that's all it is, is that the purpose is to meet and talk. It doesn't, there, there's, there is no answer to it all. Um, it can be an open for good discussion. 